Welcome back to three months of modal logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic, Logic 201 here with Cardiades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with deontic logic, looking at the acceptability relation in deontic semantics. Before we get into this relation, I want to talk a little bit about kind of the shift we're making. So, so far we've just been talking about kind of the axioms, the syntax, the deductive system of deontic logic. We haven't been talking about kind of the official semantics, what it officially means for a particular proposition to be obligatory or permissible or all these other things. What we're going to do is use kind of our modal logic structure, the idea of possible worlds to define very specifically what the meanings of each of these different predicates are. And we're going to be using this relation, the acceptability relation, to do so. Let's take a look. So the acceptability relation is going to be defined as follows. For all worlds I and all worlds J, these are possible worlds we're talking about, J is acceptable to I if and only if for all propositions P, if P is obligatory in I, that implies that P is the case in J. So basically J is a world where all of the obligations of I are fulfilled, and that means that j is acceptable to i. Where i and j are worlds, p is a proposition, and xw means that x is true in a given world. That's what we're meaning by this statement. We're going to call this deontic acceptability definition, or DADEF. Okay? So in other words, for all worlds i and j, j is acceptable to i if and only if for all propositions p, if p is obligatory in i, p is true in j. Hopefully that makes sense. So j is a world where all of the obligations in world i are true if and only if j bears the acceptability relation to i. So imagine that world i is some world where the only thing that is obligatory is that you do not kill. Any world j where no one ever kills bears the acceptability relation to i, because all of the obligations in i were fulfilled in j. So we're going to simplify this by saying a i, with that kind of superscript i, is going to be all worlds that bear the acceptability relation to i. ai is the set of all worlds that bear the acceptability relation to i. There has to be at least one ai world since ought implies can, as Kant told us. If we can't fulfill all of our obligations, we have a problem. It should be possible for us to fulfill all our obligations, so there has to be at least one possible world where all of our obligations are in fact fulfilled. In other words, for all i, there exists some j such that j bears the acceptability relation to i. This will be referred to as the deontic acceptance seriality, or DAS, if we use it in proofs. Up next, we're going to kind of talk about more generally the semantics of standard deontic logic using this acceptability relation. Watch a new video every single day, yet again for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.